This is how we assemble the do-all double frame, which will work for both your full cock and your three-quarter cock traps. You're going to mount your seat to your seat tube with uh, four screws here. Keep in mind that the back of your seat is going to go to your two-inch receiver end, which bolts on with these four bolts here. The next step to putting your trap together is going to be taking your end piece here, which your two traps mount to, and your slide, which allows you to make your trap long or short for the big and little guy. You're going to bolt this on with your four bolts here. After you have your four bolts in and cinched up tight, you're going to take this unit and put it in in this direction, building this thing upside down. And this again slides in and out for your large or small guy, tall or short. Put this in here, and you, on the double frame there's two different size legs. The long legs are going to go in the back. You got your two holes here that you use to bolt it down to your deck or to sheet of plywood in the woods, however you might want to do it, or just set it on the ground. And the two short legs mount up here in the front. Up a little bit. Get her all cinched up. He can slip her over. Complete the assembly of your double frame. You're going to mount your two patented three-way pivots onto your front T-bar. And that's all it takes. Your double trap frame is now completely assembled. Safety feature on the double. Very important that any time you readjust either trap from the right or to the left, before you throw a pair, you would pull the arms and make sure that they don't hit. As you can see, these hit. They'll damage your arms if you throw a pair. What you need to do, you can raise this one, lower this one, but you need to get it in a position where your arms don't cross. Now, this is safe, no problem. So if you want to throw a high bird, use the one on the right. If you want to throw a low bird, use this one.